Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video we're going to test out all the phones that I got from the lot that I got as you could see in my previous video. You can actually check it out from the uh, information tab. Here it is. Uh, I don't have a charger for the tablet unfortunately, so we're going to have to do it with this stuff. Um, Alright, so I'm going to just start off with the micro USB devices. So all phones that come with micro USB, that's what I'm going to test out. So I'm going to start off with the L3. Let's see if that thing does anything, right? And yes, it does. So the L3 works and it looks like the home button is also an indicator for the battery and everything else. It seems like, like a notification indicator. See, we can boot it up. It does appear that the power button is broken. Maybe if I... There we go. I had to press it a little harder. That's what she said. <laughs> so the L3 is working. It took... 10, 10 hours to charge or to turn on, it seems to be very slow. I'm going to have to remove stuff from it. So as you can see, the WhatsApp's installed, they have a custom background, everything like their apps and everything is still on there. Uh, it does seem to not even want to open the menu, oh, it took a while. I don't know what this shit is, I mean, they don't even remove their stuff, so we're going to have to remove everything from it. Um, all right, at least it works, so that's a good thing. Then we're going to take a look at another one. So I'm just going to shut this off real quick. I'm going to charge it overnight. The power button really, really is uh, messed up. All righty, so the next one that we have here is the Samsung. It has a battery in it. Let's see where the USB is, because it also has the micro USB. Let's plug it in. And it actually gives us the empty battery thingy. Let's see if we can actually boot it up. There is a life. We have multiple pictures. Now the, this is like the back of someone, so I'm not really that concerned. Yeah, just, just saying, if you're the previous owner of this thing and watching this video right now, please remove content from your devices. But as we can see, this phone actually works. So that's also pretty cool. This is one of the nicest uh, devices that we have here, because I never ever saw one of these before in real life. I don't know if it slides open or if it has any features that I'm forgetting. But the most important thing is it works. So the next one we have here is the Galaxy Ace. What am I going to do? I'm using the battery from my Galaxy Ace and we're going to see if it boots. And it does, so that is a good thing. At least it runs a custom, it doesn't run a custom ROM like mine, this one is original. So uh, yeah, so it has booted. This doesn't seem to have a custom like background or anything. It probably runs a stock version and it's incredibly slow. So probably going to have to reset it also the fact, uh, factory reset even though it looks like there are no yeah there are apps on here too people have to kind of you know be a little more secure with their personal data trans 236 this is also the galaxy ace y model the i for special 30 megahertz extra processor seems like it works fine in general so yeah so next in line we have a Galaxy Geo and one of these things I put the battery that we got with it That's this one uh, Taking it out just so we can test it out on the other one too. see if we have any spark I'm not going to waste time We're just going to put the ace battery in and see if it boots up because that battery could also be dead and As you can see we have a boot screen so The Galaxy Geo has also successfully booted so let's see if this thing has any... No, this one is actually wiped, so that's a good thing. The Galaxy Geo, I actually made one of these things. They're pretty mid-range, but they're not too bad. Also runs 236. 
seems to be a um, decent phone, but uh, it has a lot of scuffs around the corners. So yeah, at, at least it works. I can say that much. That is pretty cool. It works. We have another one. And also this one works, as far as we can tell from this. So this also works, this time it has a pattern lock. And what I can see it still gets messages on WhatsApp. So what we're going to do is open up the phone in bootloader, remove the uh, passcode. It runs a custom firmware. I wish we could get in there, but um, let me figure it out real quick. So this Galaxy Geo goes into RAM dump mode. I have no idea how to get it in recovery, so uh, I'll just figure that out another time. Uh, we're going to the physic device, see what happens if we plug it in. Uh, it boots, it works. If, if it, I hope it does. Yep. It works. There's like this big button on the back, probably like SOS or whatever. Um. Oh. Okay, interesting. It also seems to have a, have a light. Let's see if there's any, oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now that one works also. Now this one right here, this is really what hypes me. I still don't know what it is exactly, but um, let's plug in the charger and find out if it works. Oh, that's a good thing. We have at least a sign of life. See with boots. It's a Samsung Omnia 2. Now that's pretty cool. I was expecting an Omnia, but I'm not really sure because it looked so much like a Samsung Jet. Cool to see it actually works. 8 megapixel dual flash. Wow. Windows. Is this supposed to run Windows? So what we can see here, it runs the uh, Windows Mobile. I'm not really sure which one. But this would mean that this is able to boot Android with an AXE file, e EXE. Um, it has a lot of apps on it, even Facebook and everything, so I hope they lock themselves out. Pretty cool to see. Also funny how much it looks like a Samsung Jet. I'm pretty happy with this too. So, I'm going to turn it back off. Well, I'm gonna leave the Motorola for what it is right now because it seems like it has a faulty charging port or something like that. Uh, the next one we have on the bottom here is the Galaxy Y. Let's see if it works just fast. And it does. For what I can see, it's also not reset. It has a lot of pages. Uh, no apps, so that's a good thing. Seems like this phone is working fine as well, so uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. So the iPhone, just going to plug it in. I'm not uh, surprised if it doesn't work, to be honest. Um, would be cool if it did. But the battery is completely dead, so it's gonna have to wait for a little bit, but that will probably bring back some memories, because like I said, I had one of these back in the day, the black and red one. Let's see what it does. What are the odds? Looks like it's also still got personal data on it. People really got a... Stop doing that, there's a picture of a dog on here. Anyways, it works, for as what I can see. I thought it had a sliding mechanism, but it doesn't, it is the button click. But the most important thing is, it works. 
last but not least we have two Nokia phones. I'm gonna start off with this one. There we go, this phone works. But it was already on when I unboxed it too, so it's not really that much of a surprise. Then we have this, uh, this Nokia 2. It charges and it, uh, it also works, we tested it before. But I think that the battery is too low. But it does work. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and see you all later. Peace out.